What's up, party people? It's D, your friendly neighborhood tattoo VO here. And today, I want to talk about something very serious. It's another edition of Think Tuesday. Pants. Do they have a place in the VO booth or not? No, seriously, um, I'm wearing pants, just for the record, by the way. Uh, <laughs> shorts, to be exact. But uh, I wanted to talk about being able to negotiate deals to uh, with clients that you're have already started working with. I picked up a very, very big client uh, about a month ago. And after a couple of days of doing some work for them, it turned out there was a bit of a miscommunication in terms of, of the kind of the volume of what they expected uh, versus the pay. And so after doing it for a few days and realizing, okay, this is not what I thought it was. And uh, I got to talk to the creative director and make some kind of adjustments. So a bit terrifying because, you know, it's a client I just started with. They're an important client. and I did not want to lose them. But at the same time, I had to stick to my guns and say, you know what? Uh, this pay is not worth it to me. Okay. Um, I like the idea of steady work. But at this rate, it's just not going to be worth my time. I'd rather lose you and keep hunting for something else that I think is a better fit pay-wise uh, than continue to do this at this low pay. Well, guess what they did? They said, you know what? You're absolutely right, D. Um, we realized in this first few days that your skill set is far above what we normally need for this particular position. So we'd like to work with you in another capacity and keep you on the team and have you do other things that's going to take up less of your time and make you more money in the process. So there we go. Win-win for me, right? Uh, again, wasn't an easy thing to do, a bit nerve-wracking, but again, just communicated with them, told them how I felt, and uh, stuck to my gun, stood strong, and they respected that. That's the thing. People respect you more when you stick up for yourself, when you know what you're worth and you're willing to vocalize that or write it out or however you want to uh, convey it. So things worked out so much better. And I think a lot of times what happens is as VO people, sometimes we feel a little bit desperate. Uh, you know, you've got a slow week and you're just trying to book some work and you're like, yeah, it, especially early on, guys, we have a tendency to uh, early on in our careers, I should say, we have a tendency to sort of let potential clients and clients kind of walk all over us a little bit and if you act like a doormat you'll be treated like a doormat so uh, make sure that you're uh, getting what you're worth you know what i mean like i always say if you want 500 bucks for a gig ask for six you have to negotiate it's like any other thing like selling anything right um sometimes you might even get the six you asked for it's happened to me i've asked for more than i thought i was worth on a job and people have just been like, yeah, no problem. Cool. Great. But then there's the others who'll be like, well, you said six. How about five? Boom. All right, deal. Five. Because that's what I really wanted. Simple things like that. Communication. And again, just believing in your skills and knowing where you are as an artist and as a talent and what you're bringing to the table and having that confidence in yourself to do so. So, a little food for thought for you this week. I hope you guys... Had a wonderful weekend. I hope uh, this fall is upon us that you get to enjoy my favorite time of year. And until next bat time, I wish you all would keep shining.